So, did you find him? Yes. Yes, yes, I did. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm so awful running. <coughs> that's, that's very honest of you, what you just did. Oh, well, uh, you know, computers and me is not a good combination. <laughs> and I don't think this businessman can live without it, and, and I can very well. <laughs> you know, when I was running to him, I remember a story from an Indian tourist. A story? What was it? Well, it was a, it was a story about Gandhi. Gandhi, you know who he was? Ah, uh, Gandhi, Gandhi. Is that that little old man with glasses? Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the old one? Yeah. With glasses like me, yes. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. who he is then. Like yeah. me, yeah. Well, once he went into a train and he lost the shoe. But the train was already driving away, so he couldn't go back to pick it up. You know what he did? No. What? <laughs> he took off his other shoe and threw it out as well. Then someone asked him why you did it. And Gandhi said, well, so that the poor guy who finds my shoe will have the complete pair. That's very sweet, actually. Yes. I like it, yes. You seem really relaxed for a cab driver. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't like that. <laughs> but after all these years in a hurry, and uh, after two divorces and almost a heart attack, it was time to slow down, you know? Well, good for you. <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm proud to be the slowest taxi driver in Barcelona. <laughs> okay. So, young lady, mm, big question. Where you want to go? Oh, yeah. Um, could you take me to the end of the Rambla? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Barcelona? I had a ticket for Sing for Darfur. Oh. Yeah. And uh, why aren't you there? Because it got stolen this morning. Really? Oh, man, that, that's too bad. <laughs> uh, I think I have to apologize to you. Apologize? What for? Well, for, for my city. <laughs> I'm sorry, we, we stole your ticket. Oh, it's, it's not your fault. Yeah, they know, but this is very bad for you. So tell me, you don't want to watch it now on TV? No. Why not? Well, after it happened this morning, you know, I just went to an internet cafe to email some friends. Huh? And, um, and then I had an hour free on the computer left, so... Yeah. I just went to some... I just checked some Darfur sites. Good for you. Good for you. Most people don't know anything. Yeah, well, I was one of them. You know, I just, I was here for the concert and I didn't know, or I didn't even know where Darfur was or yeah. what it was. Yeah, so. Mm. Yeah, Darfur. What a fucking tragedy. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry for my words, huh? No, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, well. And. I thought about this story this morning, actually. You know, um, that little sweet English girl who disappeared during the holidays in Portugal? Yeah, yes, Madeleine I know. McCann? I know, yeah. It was just splashed all over the media in the UK, and mm -hmm. her picture was everywhere. And it, it's a tragedy, you know, but this just happens every day in Darfur. <laughs> and I was reading this story about this, about this mum yeah. About, about this young woman who saw her own kids being burned yeah. at a campfire. You know, it's just... It, it's been going on for years and I didn't even know about it. Yeah, yeah. So don't worry, but... But that, that's the same with most of us. Yeah. The situation is so complicated, you know. Too complicated for the media. They like simple stories. They only care about good guys, bad guys. Nothing else. Yeah. But if you want to know my own opinion, I think it's mostly about oil. Oil? What, yeah. what do you mean? Well, oil, money, wealth. You know, China is buying all the oil in Sudan. And uh, with the money Sudan receives, they buy arms in China to kill their own people in Darfur. Yeah. 
apart. I wouldn't know about that. I just... All I know now is that I... I don't care about the concert anymore. I just... I just walked around today. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it was a nice day for walking today. Mm, yeah. Mm. It was beautiful. I'm sorry, lady. Um, maybe it's a strange question, but um, are you in a hurry? No, not really. Why? Well, um, I think you should see something. You you think I should see something? I mean, <laughs> do you mind me asking what it is? Oh well, uh, well, it's something very special. Something that uh, takes place every night exactly at twelve o'clock. What is it? Well, I mean, what takes place at Well, it's a bit difficult to explain, but uh, believe me, it's very special. Um, is it very far from here? Or? No, no, it's not so far. It's, uh, uh, it's very nearby. It doesn't take more than five minutes to arrive there. Five minutes. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I, know, I know you're worried because of uh, that robbery of this morning, but, but I promise. I think it will make it will make up for it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Sure. I yeah. Mean, another adventure in Barcelona. Why not? Oh, great, great. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, but by the way, what's your name? Oh, um, Isabel. Okay, Isabel. Yeah. Uh, I'm Nacho. Macho. No, not macho. No. <laughs> Nacho. Nacho. Uh, Nacho, like like the Mexican chips. Yes, yeah. That's right, yes. Okay. But without the guacamole. <laughs> well, it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Nacho. Nice to meet you too, Isabel.